Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to download Audacity, the open source audio editing software that we're going to be using in class. Now, this is really only for you if you are using a school computer. If you're using a regular computer, your home computer, uh, or your parents' computer or something like that, okay, you're still going to be able to do this and you can follow the first few steps here, but there are a few steps that you actually don't have to follow because you have the ability to download things on your computer. Now, if you're using a computer that's not yours, Hey, make sure that you ask permission first, but this is an incredibly small program, an uh, incredibly small file, uh, and it's something that once we're finished, you can just wipe right off of your hard drive and nobody is worse for wear. Okay? Uh, but today we're going to be looking at how to download Audacity onto a school computer because if you've ever tried to download anything, any kind of program or anything onto a school computer before, you will realize very quickly that you do not have the ability to do so. Okay? You have to have administrative uh, uh, rights within the computer to be able to do that. I don't even have the ability to download programs onto my school provided laptop that they give me for work. Okay, So I found a way and actually Audacity is the one that created this very, very, very helpful way to download and use Audacity without ever having to go through those permissions. Okay, So that's what we're going to be going through today. Uh, first, The first thing that you will notice here on your screen is that I am at a website called audacityteam.org. Okay? You can just Google Audacity. And you'll see in there towards the top, uh, it may even be in an ad, but it is a website called audacityteam.org. That's where you need to go. That's where you're going to find this. Okay. And from here, this is where we're going to get started. Okay. So you're going to see this here at the top. You don't need to worry about anything except to come down here to what this big button called download audacity. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to a window. There's a lot of, here's the thing. There's a lot of stuff that is going to be thrown up on your window. Okay. There's going to be things like accepting cookies. There's going to be all of these different things over here. If you follow these steps, it's very, very easy. Okay. If you are using a school computer, then you are using Windows and you are going to click Audacity for Windows. Okay. If you're using a Mac, then of course you're going to click on this Audacity for Mac OS. Okay. And we'll go through and, and, and look at that here in just a second as well. Okay. But if you're using a school computer, which is ultimately what this video is for, you're going to click on Audacity for Windows. Okay. Then you're going to see a whole lot of garbage right here. Okay. Don't worry. All right. If you follow exactly what I'm doing, you're going to be a okay. Here's the thing from reading this. Okay. If, if you know anything about accessing permissions and things like that for a uh, program, you're going to realize that this is a very important sentence right here. Okay. It says that the uh, smaller download, which is the zip file down here, is useful if restricted permissions prevent you from running the .exe installer. Well, that's exactly what our school computers do. It does not allow us to use .exe installers, or excuse me, installers. Uh, so we are actually going to use the zip file of this program, which you don't need to know what any of that means. All you do need to know is that you're going to find a little uh, um, uh, uh, link right here, Audacity 2.4.2, at least it is at the time of recording, zip file, and you're going to click on that. It is going to take you to a website that looks kind of sketchy and kind of scary. That's kind of a part of this, okay? This is not scary or sketchy in the slightest, okay? I promise. You're probably going to get some weird ads. There's going to be a whole lot of stuff around here, but you're going to be okay because what you need to do is scroll down. You're going to see all of these little Audacity, Windows installers, Mass OS, uh, Linux, that kind of stuff, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to come down here and click on the thing that says Audacity Windows Zip. Okay, so you are not clicking on Audacity Windows Installer. You're going to click on Audacity Windows Zip. Okay, you're going to click on that, and however, whatever browser you're using, I'm using um, uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, whatever uh, browser you're using, it should pop up a, a quick little uh, uh, download thing right there. Mine's at the bottom, yours might be up here if you're using Firefox. Uh, and you're going to wait until it downloads. It should be very, very small. It should download very, very quickly. Okay, now you are going to click out of that. You're going to go back to your home screen. Okay. And if you know kind of where I'm going with this, you can do this however you want to, but you're going to click on, uh, you're going to get into your downloads folder. Okay. If you've never done that before, there's going to be a little folder down here on the bottom. You can click on that. You're going to get all of these things down here. It might ultimately, you know, keep you at your desktop or something like that, but you're going to go to downloads. Okay. 
and you're going to realize that there is a file. I'm actually going to get rid of this one because that's not going to be there. Uh, you're going to see a file that looks like this little folder. It's got a little zipper on it. Okay? And it's going to say Audacity-2.4.2. Okay? If you are here, then you are 90% of the way done. Okay? But you need to do one final thing. Okay? You need to go back to your home screen. Okay? Just your home screen. You need to click, uh, uh, excuse me, you need to right click. Okay, which opens up this little menu right here. You need to come down here to new. You need to click folder. And you need to type in audacity. Okay, you're going to create a little audacity folder right here on your desktop. Okay, now you can put this wherever you want to. You can put it over with your other stuff if you want to. You can hold it off into the world. It doesn't matter as long as that is right there. Okay, now you're going to go back to your downloads folder. Okay, let's see. From here, you are going to, uh, let me see if I need to, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, I hadn't done this part yet. So once you're at your downloads folder, okay, what you're gonna do is you're, just like when you created your folder over here, you're gonna right click on the file, okay? You're gonna come down and there should be a, a option that says extract all, okay? You're gonna click on that. Uh, and it's going to come up and it's going to say to select a destination. Okay. What you want to do is you want to come over here to browse. Okay. Guess what? It's going to bring up something that looks very, very familiar to you. It's all these little things over here. You need to find where it says desktop. Okay. Find your audacity folder and click on it and then hit select folder. Okay. That's going to extract a bunch of data from that download you just did into this Audacity folder, which is exactly what you want it to do because that's going to be how you access Audacity. Okay, uh, You're going to come down here and you're going to hit the word extract. It will work for just a second. Okay? It's usually pretty quick. And once it's finished, you will notice that if you click out of these two, I know I just exited out of the folder, but if you come here to your desktop folder and you click into it, you have all of these things that are now here. If you click on Audacity, okay, and you give it a second, you're gonna see its little logo pop up. You're gonna see this, and now guess what? You have Audacity, and you have all of the uh, uh, bobbles and, and effects and, 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 and tracks and everything that you will have, that you will need moving forward. Okay? Now, if any of that confused you, go back, watch it again. Okay, watch this video one more time. If you still don't quite understand, or if you're using, say, a Mac or something like that and need a little bit of extra help, please let me know. Send me a message, send me an email, and we will make sure that you get uh, access to Audacity here very soon because we're gonna start using it a little bit today, but then we're gonna start using it a whole heck of a lot a little bit later this week. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have fun with your new program, Audacity.